Now, back to COM. COM, as I said, was the grandfather of object linking and embedding, DCOM, dynamic data exchange, and network dynamic data exchange, NetDDE. And uh, object linking embedding was the example that I described to you a little while ago, where I could take a table out of an Excel spreadsheet and embed it into a Word document. I could even make the link, the connection, dynamic. And we're going to look at a, a slide here in just a minute that uh, shows us that. So here, what we see is if I simply embed an object, I take the object, which is a blue object, the blue, the blue box in the upper left-hand corner, and I embed that into a document, some other, like that's, the blue is the Excel spreadsheet, the black is the Word document. And I can take that table and just drop it into the Word document. And if I just embed the table into the Word document, there it sits, and I can even modify the, table, the, the data inside the table in the Word document. But what you notice is I've modified it by adding the little orange square. You notice the original remains untouched. It's not been modified. So if I just embed the table, it's like making a second copy of it and tucking it into this Word document. If I actually link the table to the Word document, now that I've, Im that I've embedded and now linked the table inside the Word document, if I modify the table by adding the orange square, this is over on the right-hand side now, you see how that modification commutes back to the original. So these are now permanently and dynamically linked. If I modify in one area, it updates the other area. Just as, as if I modified the original Excel spreadsheet, it would actually update inside the Word document. So if I'm linking them, that's a dynamic connection. The two tables remain uh, synchronized. If I simply embed the object, uh, they are two separate copies now, and there is no dynamic link associated.